Welcome back to UGC NET English Detailed Lectures. In the previous class, we discussed one poem written by T.S. Eliot. That was The Hollow Man. Today we will discuss uh, the biography of the African writer Chimamanta Ngozi Adichie. Chimamanta Ngozi Adichie was born in 1977. She is from Africa, an African writer from Nigeria. So she is a Nigerian writer. And she uses the pen name Amanta and Arich. Uh, so the pen name used by Chimamanda Ngozi Arich is Amanta and Arich. She is the daughter of her parents James Noe Arich and Grace Ifioma. James Noe Arich and Grace Ifioma. And a Chimamanta Ngozi Arichi married the man Ivara Ezenke. Ivara Ezenke. A Chimamanta grew up in a house owned by the famous African writer Chinba Achibi. She studied medicine and pharmacy at the University of Nigeria for a year and a half. So, without completing her medical studies, she left Africa. And then she came at the age of 19. She left Nigeria for the United States. So, after that, leaving her medical studies, she came to the United States and to study communications and political science. And she acquired total three degrees. According to the writer, her initial inspiration came from Chinba Achebe and also from another writer, Buchi Amchata. So, two African writers influenced Chimamanta Ngozi Arich. So they were Chinwa HB and also Buchi and Chat. And upon Buchi and Chata's death, Aditi said, Buchi and Chata, we are able to speak because you first spoke. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your art. According to Chimamanta Ngozi Adichie. Buchiyam Chata influenced her a lot. That's why she says, Buchiyam Chata, we are able to speak because you first spoke. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your art. And the first work written by Chimamanta Ngozi Adichie was Purple Hibiscus. That came out in 2003. So remember, purple hibiscus. Chimamanta Ngozi Arich. And Arich's work, that is, The Thing Around Your Neck, is a collection of 12 short stories that explore the relationships between men and women, parents and children, Africa and the United States. So remember, the short story collection, The Thing Around Your Neck, is written by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. It's a collection of 12 stories that explore the relationships between men and women, parents and children, Africa and the United States. Uh, Chimamanda was once agnostic. She was agnostic, that means she was doubtful about religious practices and even religion. Then she stated that religion is not a women-friendly institution. So she had stated that religion is not a women-friendly institution. But later she became a 
Catholic. First, she was an agnostic. And a Chimamanta Ngozi Ariche supports LGBT rights in Africa. LGBT means we know that the QR term, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. So she supports third sex rights. In 2014, when Nigeria passed an anti-homosexuality bill, she was among the Nigerian writers who objected to the law, calling it unconstitutional. She is a supporter of LGBTQ. And she speaks of feminism and her writing. She says, I think of myself as a storyteller, but I would not mind at all if someone were to think of me as a feminist writer. I am very feminist in the way I look at the world and that worldview must somehow be part of my work. So, this is the idea on feminism by Chimamanta Ngozi Arichi. According to her, I think of myself as a storyteller, but I would not mind at all if someone were to think of me as a feminist writer. I am very feminist in the way I look at the world, and that worldview must somehow be part of my work. In Adichie's speech entitled The Danger of a Single Story, she expressed her concern for underrepresentation of various cultures. So, the suppression of the African culture. That is what she means when he speaks or she hints in her speech. That is the danger of a single story. She hints that this is not a good the underrepresentation of some culture, especially African culture. After going to America, she might have felt some discrimination as well. And she projects the idea, we should all be feminists. And she hates the term Mrs. as an advocate of feminism and women's rights. She voiced her opinions on marriage and associated titles that came with it. So she doesn't support the idea of adding Mrs. after marriage. So she loves to be addressed as Miss rather than Mrs. She said that her real heroes are ordinary women who fend for their families and hold the families together. So her role models are ordinary women according to Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Now let's analyze her works. First one, decisions for love of uh, Biafra. That her mountain morning. Purple hibiscus. Half a yellow sun. The thing around your neck. Americana. We should all be feminists. The tree in grandma's garden. Dear Joel or the Feminist Manifesto in 15 Suggestions. Sierra Leon, 1997. You in America. Knots on grief. Checking out. Apollo, The Arrangements, A Work of Fiction, Knots on Grief, Zikara. So remember once more, the works written by Chimamanta Ngozi Ariche. Decisions for Love of Biafra, Daraha Martin Morning, Purple Hibiscus, Half a yellow sun, 
the thing around your neck americana we should all be feminists the tree in grandma's garden dear jolly or the feminist manifesto in 15 suggestions zera leon 1997 you in america knots on grief checking out apollo the arrangements a work of fiction knots on grief zikora so that's all about the writer chimamanta ngozi arich in the next class we will discuss one of shakespeare's plays that is his history play king john or we can say the life and death of king john